farming is much more than a job. So there's a spiritual connection to the land. My name is Nathan Reed. I'm a cotton farmer. When my grandfather saved his money and purchased this land in the late 60s, then my father grew up on the farm and he loved it. And I'm kind of the same way. I farm other crops, but cotton is, is different. It's part of our heritage. What do you have to eat there, Jenny? U.S. cotton is trusted because it's grown in the most sustainable way possible with a focus on environmental issues. A lot of times with farming, you have these employees that, that work for 15, 20, 30, 40 years. And that wouldn't happen if you didn't treat people right. And every cotton farmer I know loves what they do. So we take pride in what we do. It's a very technologically advanced occupation. Precision agriculture technologies, the use of GPS technologies that I use on my farm have allowed me to conserve resources. All my fertilizer inputs are done variable rate based on soil sampling. So each spot in the field gets the exact amount of fertilizer it needs. I'm using about 20% less fertilizer. And then we do GPS land forming. So we're able to landform the land so it waters more efficiently and doesn't erode. And I've gotten into heavy use of cover crops to help protect the soils, to prevent erosion. The cereal rye that we grow, it actually has an alleliopathic effect on weeds, so it produces a, a toxin. Uh, it's almost, it makes its own herbicide, essentially. Between the shade on the ground and, and the root structure of the cover crop, our water irrigation efficiency is just dramatically increased, and we're using a lot less water. I'm a father of four. I would put our sustainability and environmental friendliness and the highest quality cotton against anywhere else in the world. I wouldn't bring them out here if I didn't feel that we were in a safe environment, that something out here could harm them. The land, it's our livelihood, and it runs deeper. It's a generational thing. Now I'm trying to do my job and do my part and leave the land in better shape for the next generation. My dad, he was my hero in life. I feel every day whenever I go out and kind of look across the fields, I feel him standing right there next to me.